The trachea. By Grace Hoffman and Alyssa Martinazzi. The organ we are discussing is the trachea. We made two models. The first model is a close-up of the trachea and what it looks like. The second model shows how the trachea functions with the respiratory system. The center tube of the trachea is four to five inches long. The pink object is the voice box or the larynx. And there are 20 cartilage rings around the trachea, which give it stability. The two branches of the trachea are the main bronchi. The right and left bronchi lead into the lungs, which are depicted by the balloons. The main function of the trachea is to provide a clear airway for air to enter and exit the lungs. In addition, the epithelium lining the trachea produces mucus that traps dust and other contaminants and prevents it from reaching the lungs. The trachea is made of smooth muscle tissue along the back wall with 16 to 20 C-shaped bands of cartilage running its length. The rings of cartilage give the trachea stability and resistance against the pressure of airflow into and out of the lungs. Thousands of hair-like structures called cilia line the inner layer which is called the trachea epithelium. The cilia move in wave-like patterns to push secretions in foreign matter such as dust and particles out of the airways. The trachea terminates into two branches, the right main bronchi that goes to the right lung and the left main bronchi that goes to the left lung. This is our second model of the trachea. Here we will show you how it functions. The trachea is part of the respiratory system and is involved in the act of breathing. Breathing starts as you inhale air into your nose or mouth. The air then travels down the back of your throat into your windpipe or trachea. The air travels down the trachea and then into the right and left bronchus, which enter the right and left lungs. The bronchus divide into bronchiolus in the lungs. The bronchiolus end in balloon-like air sacs called alveoli. Our body has over 300 million alveoli. The alveoli are surrounded by tiny blood vessels called capillaries. It is here where oxygen from the inhaled air passes through the alveoli walls and into the blood. The oxygenated blood leaves the lungs and is carried to the heart, which pumps the blood throughout the body to provide oxygen to the cells of your tissues and organs. As the cells use the oxygen, carbon dioxide is produced and absorbed into the blood. Your blood carries the carbon dioxide back to the lungs where your body removes it by exhaling. The breathing process is aided by a large dome-shaped muscle under the lungs called the diaphragm. When you breathe in, the diaphragm contracts. When you pull the glove down, the lungs fill up with fresh air. And when you breathe out, the diaphragm relaxes and the lungs deflate. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of the trachea. Thank you for watching.